That is probably how the ancient kingdom not only gained control of their three ancient weapons to begin with, as well as Zunisha, but also passed down these powers to the future, even with them all reappearing at the perfect time for some sort of prophecy that we've been hearing about. Since Thomas' powers wear off after one moon cycle though, we have to think about how this control could extend beyond that, because at least for the case of the Sea Kings and Zunisha so far, they only listen to one specific person, and it seems as if they've all been around since their original leader was around, so it's almost as if they're recognizing their leader in this new person. So I think there's two ways that I could see this working. First, Tama mentioned how after that one month is over, the animals can actually choose to stay under their control if they want to. So while I doubt Oda would make it this simple, he technically could. Maybe someone who had the Kibi Kibi no Mi like 900 years ago could have given the Sea Kings and other ancient weapons Kibi Dongo. After the month was up, they all chose to stay with whoever that was, and then that person could have maybe appointed three separate people who could then control each of them.